very most difficult time. I can't keep anything in my body. Crackers. I tried all of those, it did not work for me. Hey, hey. Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, my name is Mabel, in case you do not know. I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, it's your pregnant sister, oh, Mabelina. <laughs> guys, the love has been overwhelming. I am super, super grateful for every single prayer, Every like a lot of you cried. Oh. You guys love me so much how i mean i love you guys too like who am i it's so humbling a lot of people told me how they had tears in their eyes people sent me messages on instagram whatsapp lots of love and i am grateful i am thankful in this video today i'll be sharing my first trimester struggles i am still struggling but yeah i'll give you guys updates with time but for now i'll tell you guys all the things that i have been going through <laughs> pregnancy is not easy guys it's not just easy so yeah let me tell you guys first of all why i decided to share my pregnancy with the world it's not because i want to just yes i feel like telling the whole world really <laughs> but that's not the reason the reason basically is to encourage someone is to inspire someone it might not really be pregnancy that you're, you're looking forward to or you're praying for you know it could be something else but just to inspire you and let you know that man you know god is faithful and that thing you're believing for is definitely going to happen that's exactly the idea behind the whole announcement so i i did not announce it because oh i won't no 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 so if you have anybody that is believing for the same kind of blessing anybody that is suffering from pcos there, there's a lot we have to share there's a lot i have to learn from you guys there's a lot i have to give out as well okay so you guys have been saying, maybe I can't wait to see your pregnancy journey. People should watch, oh, this video is not going to have 100 views. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I want people that are interested in, people that already know me, people that have been following me before now, that are interested in seeing my journey as I transition into a new phase of my life to be here. And then people that are interested in such content, like people that are believing for the same thing, new mothers as well older moms you know so that we can all just learn because motherhood pregnancy everything is not just easy you cannot just know it all yeah so i need you guys okay so what i want to be sharing quickly is what to expect during your first trimester of your pregnancy and then what i have experienced so far like we all know everybody's different every pregnancy is different like every woman is different you might be pregnant now and two years time you might be pregnant again and it's a whole different ball game okay so i want to share the general things that i know that you should expect when you're in your first trimester and then what i have experienced so first of all some people do not experience anything during their first trimester thank god for you i have still been like i've been in <laughs> Ah, like yesterday I threw up almost my intestine like I almost threw up my intestine I threw up so bad <sighs> but some people like me initially you know I was saying that ah I want to have symptoms I want to feel like I'm pregnant oh god when the symptoms started so let me tell you I only film when I can film because most of the time I am <sighs> well so in your first trimester one of the things to expect is that you'll be sleeping more than usual you might experience being bloated you might get unnecessarily bloated you might be nauseous what are the things again you might have like sore boobs you might be um dreaming dreaming yes yeah, sorry dreaming funny funny dreams you're going to definitely have a strong sense of smell you're going to feel exhausted you might just be panting unnecessarily you might be going to the restroom every five minutes to go pee there is a lot that people experience in their first trimester some people experience like mild cramps not as strong as that of your periods and then some people also experience bleeding i know that it's called implantation bleeding it's not supposed to be heavy so but if it's heavy then you need to see your doctor so those are the things to expect but what did i get let's find out what i got first of all guys 
the major okay let me not start from the major one okay let me start from the major one the major thing that i have been suffering from guys is the fact that i am unable to hold down anything i put in my mouth putting stuff in my mouth is the most difficult thing for me and then when i suffer like let me tell you if you see me eating you're either going to cry or you're going to laugh it's like the biggest punishment of the century because i do not feel like eating a thing not a single thing not a single thing i do not feel like eating a thing but it's not really about how i feel so people like my mom will be like just manage you have to eat for the baby you have to try and i'm like okay let me try and i gather myself to eat sometimes i hold my nose i don't want to perceive the food i just try to eat and when i get to like the ninth spoon I throw everything up. I'm not able to take my prenatal medications because I throw it all up. I am not able to hold down anything. It's extreme, not even water. And the funny part of this thing is that I wake up really hungry. Hunger literally wakes me up in the morning. I wake up so hungry, my tummy will be paining me. Paining me, Nigerian English, manage. My tummy will be paining me, oh, paining me. I'm not able, like I'll be so hungry. But not even water. I like I'm not able to take anything. I went to the hospital. They gave me medication to stop me from vomiting. I vomited the medication. Hey God, my own is strong. Oh. So well, I used to throw up normally before this whole time. I used to throw up because I'm like an ulcer patient, so I get to throw up a lot. So now this thing is making it worse. I'm not able to eat even fruits. Sometimes we'll be like, okay, just try fruits. I'm not able to eat fruits. I'm not able to try smoothies. Some days are good, don't get me wrong. Very few days are good. And let me tell you, they, they call it morning sickness. There's nothing like morning sickness. It is all day sickness. It is all week sickness. It is every minute sickness. Sometimes it does not even start in the morning. Mine starts in the morning and lasts like all day. So if you see me, if you see me filming, it's the day that is good, like today, good days. I gather myself and try and come and film. But other days I'm on the floor. See, when they took me to the hospital the first time, the first time it was very like I threw up like nine times in a particular day, nine or twelve, because I kept trying to eat. The more I tried, the more they took me to the hospital. As soon as they, I le I was in the doctor's office. It was like they should take me to emergency word immediately they wheeled me in a wheelchair yes i was even doing a video like really they wheeled me and they said i do not have a single fluid in my body let me tell you guys i have lost nine kg naturally no workout no dieting this is enough dieting yeah so they wheeled me they took me to the emergency ward and they they me drip immediately guys i threw up the drip i don't know if this is correct if you're a medical person here is it possible to throw up drip because there was nothing in my tummy as soon as they gave me that drip i believe that drip spreads to different parts of your body and the part that got to my tummy because it was so bitter when i was throwing up it was like it was so busy i threw up in the hospital like six times until they had to now put like a particular injection in the drip. I think that was supposed to help me stop throwing up. That was when I stopped throwing up. As soon as they put the drip, I continued. I threw up my life. I was scared. I was like, what? I threw up like how many times that day? What? Ah, motherhood. Oh, motherhood. We are going to do this thing. See, we are going to, is it today. We are going to be mothers. We are going, like It's so interesting, but... It's really not easy. Sometimes my brother is like, this is too much for just one person. God, this few weeks has been the most difficult. It's been, it's been the most difficult time. I can't keep anything in my body. Anything I take, I throw it off. I cannot drink water. I cannot eat food. I can't take fruit. I can't take anything. I throw up like six times a day. Like anything I put in my mouth, I throw up. And the next minute, I'm so hungry. This is like 5 21 a.m. and I'm actually admitted in the hospital. I've taken like like four bags of fluids. I've taken 
like four drips. I was supposed to take three, but they've given me four, and I'm seeing there's two on right here waiting for me. Ah, so they've done all the tests, they did malaria tests, they did typhoid, they did kidney tests, and you know, blood count, and everything. The results just came out now, and they said everything is fine. That is just a baby. Ah, I'm so weak. I was supposed to give you guys this update since yesterday, but it's not been easy. It's been crazy for me. Oh, I cannot complain, you know, this is like the joy of motherhood. This is what I have prayed for, for almost four years. As a matter of fact, when they scanned me yesterday, I saw my baby. I was just smiling. I was really down. And the doctor was like, in the midst of your, ah, 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 so something can make you smile. Yes, my baby. I just saw the tiny baby. <laughs> It made me so happy and you know they checked the baby and the baby was doing well. I can't wait for this phase to be over so that I can be strong. I'm just feeling so bad. My husband uh, he left work yesterday afternoon. He brought food for me. I threw it up. He had already brought food for me, he fed me and went back to work. Before he got to the office. I already threw it up. He came back again. I was so down. Rushed me to the hospital. He has not gone home since. Like he went to pay for some of my drugs now though. He he slept just on the chair there. Like I kept feeling bad. I kept telling him, come now, come and lie down on my bed. Let me shift for you. He's like, no, babe, I'm fine. Oh, I'm so grateful. But man, this this drip hurts. It's the most painful thing ever. I didn't know it was this painful. I've taken drip like maybe once or twice. But this one is extremely painful. What? I'm not basically experiencing all the symptoms. But this particular one is a whole lot. The only thing I'm able to even manage sometimes is something that has palm oil in it. Like maybe roasted yam and palm oil sauce. And if I eat it today, I might not be able to eat it for a long time. One day I tried abacha. And yeah, it worked. I tried it the next day. It did not work. So I'm still trying to discover. The doctor saw me. She was like, she has seen somebody that she's better than in pregnancy. Because she was just like, what? So the doc they also asked me to try ginger. I tried ginger. It did not work. They said, okay, try snacking every single time. Eat Pringles. Eat crackers. I tried all of those. It did not work for me. Mm-hmm. So if you're here or if you have any magic that can work, please let me know. But if you're also experiencing the same thing, let me tell you what works for me for only two days. So I read it somewhere that you should not allow yourself to get hungry. Do not allow the hunger wake you up. Because the hunger literally wakes me up. Like I wake up with stomach pain and stuff. Happiness was always frying like french fries for me. That was what I was able to eat that time. Was it with ketchup? I think with ketchup. Every morning, happiness would fry at like 5 a.m. I'll now wake up like 5.30 to eat. So if I eat, that time it worked for two days only. If I eat before the hunger, I'm able to cope for the day. It becomes a good day, okay? But there are some days that she will bring it. I won't be able, like it just did not work for long, but it might work for you. If you're experiencing such a thing, try to eat before you get hungry. If you're able to eat. This was not just easy. And then on that my experience is sore boobs, which we all know. But it's not even a big deal and then i used to pant a lot i don't know how i'm able to do this video but i just used to pant if i'm just talking to you i'll be really i'll be like okay so bring it i'm always panting i don't know why but yeah today is a good day that's why i'm here <laughs> so what has your experience been like please just let me know in the comments you know when you were pregnant what was your first trimester experience like like i said i'm still in the journey so as the trimester goes by I'm going to keep updating you. If I feel better, I'm going to keep updating you. But if I don't, then... So in the first trimester, please advise us. What can we do? If you are an older mom here, please just let me know. Let us know what we can do. Like I said, I tried ginger. It did not work. I tried snacking. Ugh, it's so hard. 
but this is what we prayed for yeah nothing is really easy in life so we're not even going to complain just let me know what it has been like for you if you are pregnant tell me what you're experiencing is your only good one that nothing is doing you or are you experiencing all these symptoms at the same time let me know in the comments please give this video a thumbs up please share also with people that are interested in such content and then what else you see, hit the subscribe button again and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I'm going to see you pretty soon, sooner than you think. Okay, do not forget that I love you. Bye for now, guys. Mwah.